How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be opening this VMAX Climax Booster Box. Now I do have to admit, it has been a little while since I've last opened this. I opened a ton of this, uh, this set, back in the day I want to say. It was like half a year ago or something like that. Now, the main reason why I've kind of stopped opening it, because, well, I pulled the best card, or the, the then best card, which was the, the Garla Friends, or Friends in Garla. Uh, I pulled that twice, so that's when I kind of said, uh, let's just stop while we're ahead. Ended up selling both copies and then just bought a greater copy, because that card is amazing. But, uh, the price actually keeps picking back up right now of this set, so I thought I snagged a few boxes before they get too expensive, and here we are, opening VMAX Climax. It's kind of refreshing though. As you know, I do love opening Japanese booster booster packs, or just sets in general, because most of the time, the print quality is just so much better than the English one. And let's start it off with the first pack. Now, the, the most expensive card, or the card you want to pull from this set, is actually the Gloria Full Art. As we pull a nice Guard of War, yo. Oh, and here we go. This is our character secret wear with the Crobat and Silver in the background. And then our reverse. Let's just put these in order. Side. And get a sleeve for the character secret wear. Okay, so first booster pack. Right off the back, character secret wear. Now we could still get another secret rare, just a normal secret rare, full art trainer or anything. Or, I actually don't know if, if when you pull a character secret rare, if there's still a chance for a god pack. I guess we're, we have to find out. Okay, there we go. Right. Yeah, Gloria has actually been going up in, in value, like, kind of a lot, actually. Which kind of surprises me, because that card in English is, like, really, really cheap. So, Jolteon. We've got a Rose. And we've got a Dusk Noir, a Frostlass, and our VMAX, which has horrible, horrible print lines. Probably can't make that out in a video, but there's like, there's one like right here, and one right here. That's like something that, uh, I don't want to say VMAX Climax has been famous for. I gotta rearrange my stuff here, geez. There's so many awesome pulls, but the print quality of VMAX Climax, because they they've printed this set so much, has actually been kind of on the on the lower side for Japanese sets. Like lots of prints lines, uh, the strange thing is, even my, my uh, BGS 9.5 Gala Friends, even that one has like three print lines, which is kind of, I don't know, it got a Surface 9.5, but then uh, print lines, I don't know. I guess, well, 9.5 isn't perfect, so I guess it makes sense. So you pull a Zerud and a Kobalion. And a Sylveon, nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and a Marnie. Very cool. So there are so many awesome pulls still. This is such an amazing set to open. It was really, really cheap back when when they basically printed it and printed it. It was available for like 40 euros, 50 euros here. Now it's gone back up for like 80 or like 75. And I said to myself, let's just buy two boxes. One to open right now, and as we talk about friends in Ghana, oh, we got a Leon, cool. Nice. Oh, cool. See, a uh, character rare. I've forgotten about this. Yeah, yeah. You so you promised, I think, three character rares, and then one character secret rare. This is cool. I actually haven't. I I don't have this yet, so this is nice. This is really really nice. There are so many pulls. I if you open this this set, I suggest you get a lot of sleeves because you're gonna want to sleeve up like almost everything in this set. I can promise you. I can absolutely promise you you want to sleeve up everything. So yeah, because uh, I want to do an opening of like uh, the older high class sets, which is VMAX Climax, Shiny Star V, and then Tag Team All Stars. That's as far as I will go, because the other sets afterwards were like the best of X and Y. Those are like really, really expensive as we pull a nice Umbreon. Oh, and right off the right off the bat, another one. I've actually pulled this before, but this is still pretty cool. I like this one. Leading up to V Star Universe, which I think releases uh, December second in Japan. So I'm really, really pumped about that set. 
it will probably be pretty expensive starting out. As you know, but then I think they're gonna print this as a pool of nice rolls. I think they're gonna print this the same way as they did with VMAX Climax. I wanna say into Oblivion almost. Nice an Octillery. And an Urshifu. I think this is Rapid Strike Urshifu. Alright, cleaning up a bit, and then we're almost done. It's it's over very fast, but the experience in itself is very, very nice. Opening VMAX Climax, or like any high class set for that matter. It's a really, really awesome set. And I can highly recommend, before it gets too expensive, which it will, I can promise you that, this set will get crazy expensive once they do stop printing it, which they might have already done already. Nice as we pull cool Charizard. I'm just gonna put this aside right down here. And a Mimikyu. They, I think they're gonna print this, or they, they might have stopped printing this already, I'm pretty sure. So this is gonna get uh, pretty expensive. How many packs do we have left? Three packs in total. I'm gonna keep the box in good shape. Get the packs into the frame, there you go. So yeah, if you if you want to open the set or if you just want to sit on a box for your steel collection or anything, I'd highly suggest opening or not opening, buying, buying them right now before they get too expensive. Because I can promise you, all the high class sets, doesn't matter if the pulls are good enough as you get the boss, boss's orders, all the high class sets get crazy expensive once they are a bit older. For example, I think, I think one of the best examples is, well, just any, really. Shiny Star V is kind of odd, because Shiny Star V, while it is like 100 euros currently, that was released two years ago, so it didn't, didn't like uh, gain that much value in terms of the other ones. Tech Team Old Stars is like three years old, so just one year older, and that's 200 a box, or 250. Even if it doesn't have, like, good pulls, which, don't get me wrong, both of these sets, or like all three of these sets, have amazing pulls. But that doesn't necessarily mean- OH MY GOD, ARE YOU SERIOUS?! ARE YOU FREAKING KIDDING ME?! I've pulled this card three times in a row now! HOLY SHIT, THAT IS THE SECOND BEST SECRET RARE YOU CAN GET! HOLY MOLY, WHAT THE FREAK?! Yo! Let me check- let, let's check this one out, like, up close. Holy moly! I see a bit of scuffing down here. I'm just checking for print lines. The centering seems pretty good. There's a print line right across here, and there is usually one here and one down here. Right now, I don't see anything. You know, from my Incandescent Arcana opening, I've, as you know, we've opened the Furry Soda Girl, we've gotten that one. I was thinking about sending this one into CGC. Now that we have pulled this one, which I'm gonna put into a sleeve immediately, I might actually send this one in as well. Although uh, PSA have just announced their, their new budget or bulk uh, tier, it's like 15 euros, or not 15 euros, 15 dollars. Uh, per card, which is really cheap. The only thing that bothers me, because I don't like to wait on stuff, is the turnaround time. Which is like 120 days with an asterisk. So, 120 days might not even be uh, when you get it back. It might just be six months, so half a year. And that's something, okay. I'm like stunned about that. Let's open the last pack. Oh, okay. I thought we we're gonna get a reverse, but I just pulled the the trainer gallery card out there, or the character rare. My bad. I'm still stunned, but I've pulled that card three times now. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Houndoom. Or Beetle. And a nice Shadow Rider Calyrex to top it off. Yo, what a successful opening. I've actually put the Gala friends over there by mistake, together with the Furry Soda Girl. Yeah, I've been thinking about sending those in. I could send them into card market grading, see what they get. But thing is, both of these... Like, I'll check this after the recording, like, real up close, but so far this looks good. Centering looks good. Surface, I don't know, we'll see. But this one, I've compared with my other graded cards, especially with trainers. Like, the centering is near perfect. The only really imperfection that I can see are like uh, two print lines, or not three print lines, there's one up here. I don't know if you can make that out in a video. Yeah, right there. 
and there are some really slight ones here and here. But I've checked my other or my other graded cards, and those that have print lines still get a 9.5 in surface. So I I actually think that furry soda girl has a really really high chance to get a 10. That's why I kind of want to send it into CGC, because as you know I love CGC case the cases. And this might actually join it, holy moly. What a successful VMAX Climax box opening. I'm really glad that I picked up two boxes now. What an amazing opening. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. Uh, stay tuned for more in the future, and thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.